Allegedly, it was it was acquired for upwards of one hundred million dollars. Blocksburg was just sold for one hundred million dollars. Yeah, one hundred million dollars. Well, hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. It's me, Burman. I'm here today in Blocksburg, and I'm talking about um, Blocksburg being sold. Um, there's a lot behind it, but I'm going to tell you guys all about it in a minute. But before I begin, please do subscribe. It's completely free and helps me out so much. Also, you can join my neighborhood. The code is Burman underscore L-E-G-R-T. Now, make sure to stay right till the end because there is a lot to go through. All right, so if we take a look here, even Bear one um, he is a Roblox um, developer, so it's all uh, pretty much legit. Um, so here we have... Um, Welcome to Bloxburg was acquired by a company known as Embracer. They own games like Tomb Raider and Borderlands. Allegedly, it was it was acquired for upwards of one hundred million dollars. However, the actual amount isn't public. So this is really crazy because it's like one hundred million dollars. Like that's a lot for even just a Roblox game. But Bloxburg is really popular, so I can see that they made 37 million dollars in 2021 and 2022 so this means that Bloxburg made 37 million dollars a year which is insane so here we also have what he was quoting the retweet um, from embrace embracer investor um, which is a fan account I guess so here um, it says Something that I knew but was never mentioned by in Racer until now. The secret company acquired in August was Shortcake AB, the one person company behind Roblox game Welcome to Bloxburg. Shortcake has since been renamed to Coffee Stain Gothenburg. So I'm not sure what the Gothenburg means. Is that that's just going to be Bloxburg now or if it's just some place in the world? Um, but yeah, so if we keep going down, he puts here, the trademark was registered by a company called Coffee Stain, which is owned by Embracer on November 8th, 2022. So if we take a look here at the trademark status, I did, um, pull it up here. So as you can see right here, Mark, welcome to Bloxburg, which is kind of weird since it doesn't make much sense. So... If we continue to go look down, like for mark information, yep, welcome to Bloxburg. So it's really, really weird to see, but it's all legit, like computer software, computer game, all that. So it's really weird to see the reality of this. It's kind of hard to understand it at the moment. Um, but if we take a look upwards now, he put out, My best guess is that Coaptus will still manage Welcome to Bloxburg for the time being. It could be that the management would switch over starting in 2023, or Coaptus may continue to manage managing it for a while. Not sure. Um, so yeah. So it's really, really a lot to go through, a lot to see. And like really just a lot. Alright, so if you type in Coffee Stain Studios on Google, which is also owned by Embracer <coughs> here. Um so this is the new developers of Bloxburg. But if we take a look here, to me it doesn't look like a promising future with the fact that they haven't created role play games. Like, as you can see, it's all battle games. Like, it's nothing roleplay, so. I don't really see the good future in this. Um, if we take a look here in jobs, however. <clears throat> we go all the way down here. We got a community manager. Um. So here it says, the project Coffee Scene is looking for a new colleague to help us build a brand new 
Gothenburg office from the ground up. The team will be developing a game on the Roblox platform. The game has already seen some years of development by just a few developers and has a comfortable degree of commercial success. However, now is the time we will start expanding the team to add features and get the game to a level quality the developers so far have only been able to wish for. Um, so here, okay, yeah, they're showing like the, you're gonna want to keep it the same, that's like what you think it is, like, but here, um, they're looking for, in the next job I'm gonna show you guys, right here, senior programmer. So yeah, it's just the same as I was reading there. Um, so here we we think our applicate applicants are excited about making great games in the collaboration with other talented game makers. Um, there's a lot there, but there's also a lot um, like develop new features and fix bugs, primarily using LUA Roblox Studios. Mentor and enable junior team members. Lead in managing version control using the best practices. Um, there's a lot there. I, I don't remember where it was. But they want to start adding on mini games. But like, if you take a look here, like from FreeCam, like of course we have... Um, the RB Battles, which of course I'm too far away so you can't see it. But yeah, of course that's a mini game. But it's not, they want to add in mini games like, but Bloxburg is not like a mini game map. It's more of a role play and building. So if anything, I hope they add in like maybe like more role play locations. Like I don't want a full map revamp. Because, like I was saying before, and also yesterday's live stream, um, this map here is so iconic, um, I just can't see them removing the icon. So, just gonna build with it. Like, yeah, of course, we had the expansion, like, there, like, the walls, just, is right behind Town Hall before. So, yeah, of course, we're gonna fix some stuff there, change that up. But there's just so this map here is just so iconic. I just like I said before, I don't see them changing it that bad. Hopefully, at least. So there's a lot of people, including me, are having negative thoughts about this, um, especially since it didn't come from the developers. Like, you know, thought that was something big like this would have been announced by the developers, not by YouTubers, which is probably one of the most hardest parts to accept, is that we didn't hear it from Co-Optus or Froggy. We had to hear it from YouTubers at first, but now most of this stuff has been rolled out. That's why I'm making the video now, just so I have a little bit more information to share to you guys. Um, if, you did, if you still didn't know it, the box spray got sold, well, <laughs> surprise! So yeah, there is a lot still to go through. Um, I'm gonna keep an eye on it. I'm gonna make some videos about it as it comes out. Um, but I do expect that we're gonna see the New Year's update for sure. But after that, I don't know what's to be in hold for Bloxburg. So yeah. Well, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe and turn on all notifications so you'll never miss a video. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.